Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. X, The Invasion 2. Super Mario Bros. X, The Invasion 2. Super okay. <laughs> I know, it's dumb. Uh, balls in the sky. So last time, we got our seventh star and saw possibly the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Just, I mean, if you want to know what it is, it... Go watch the last, the previous video, but I, I'll warn you, it's really gross. <laughs> Those bubbles look pretty strong. I wonder if you could actually swim in them. Oh yeah. I was also talking about this last time where... Normally when you see these bubbles, they're like floating in the sky and you get a platform on them. I, I guess platform is not really the right word, but... You swim through them, you jump from one to the other. But uh, the last level that we did had them in reverse, where they're actually air bubbles in water, so you can't swim in them. You can swim everywhere around them. Guess we're just covering all the bases here. Yeah, see, that, that's what I like about this this episode, is that usually e each level has, like, kind of its own ideas. And they don't repeat shit all the time. Now, I wonder if I can find a blue Koopa and just not play the level. Oh, okay, it's, level's over. Yeah, I think this should hopefully be the finale. The Invasion 4! Jeez, we haven't even released the Invasion 3, and you're already on the Invasion 4? The clown car is weak on the top side. It will hurt if an enemy touches you there. You can stack those cannons on the clown car and fire them while driving. Yes. Uh these here just like that and then can I get in while in Yoshi no but I can probably uh, I could probably just carry Yoshi with me <laughs> nice <laughs> all right so we all know the strategy or the clown car. Just stay at the top of the screen. If it's the top that's vulnerable, just make it completely invisible. Um. Except for hammers. Ham we're still vulnerable to hammers from all angles. Ah! <laughs> ah, I am scared. <laughs> I am scared, baby. Okay, somehow did not get hit by those hammers. Thankfully. Of course, we do need to go under these floating ships. Sometimes, actually, you can you can go pretty high here. Maybe we don't need to go under those floating airships. Should probably stay at a height in which I can kill the Lagadoos. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this level supposed to be hard or something? <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta get out now. Do I just need to go through here? No. I do have to fight the Birdos. Ah. <laughs> here we go. No. <laughs> Yes. 
Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Like, please, can we, just, can we just be done with this already? I get it. Warp to the lava hole. Oh. So there are eight worlds. Easy mode tanks. And of course, because nostalgia or whatever, they gotta, gotta have the auto-scrolling tanks. For Mario 3. Everybody's favorite. Do these guys shoot spike balls at all? I guess not. You know, I wish I wish enemy stacking in this game was like better. <laughs> I wish it worked the way it did in Mario Maker. Cuz it's actually good and cool in Mario Maker, but in this game it's like most of the time it just doesn't fucking work. Cuz it really only it only works with with Mario 2 enemies because you can stand on them. <laughs> In Mario Maker, you can stack any enemy onto any enemy. Just make fucking these insane creatures. I think they're. I th I think they have improved enemy stacking in 1.4. But I don't know. Okay. Just boom boom. Oh, I can't can't use Yoshi. <laughs> Fine. He does make boom boom a lot easier. But he's already <laughs> just so easy. And it does not matter. Hard mode tanks. Thanks, tanks. Oh. Would I rather have Yoshi or the Billy Gun? Oh no. <laughs> no, I thought we had enough of this in airship attack. God damn it. Fuck this. Okay, yeah, no, I want the billy gun. <laughs> Please, sir, can I have another? <laughs> Fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> I just <laughs> want to cry. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, yeah, clearly the level is, like, designed for you to take the billy gun. But I need to go back for power-ups. I mean, if I wanted to... I could become the most disgusting human being and use the Lakitu shoe, but I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment, you know? <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Even with the billy gun, it's not better. <laughs> it's not better. It's just not better. <laughs> It doesn't fucking matter! It doesn't fucking matter that I have this fucking OP gun that kills everything in one hit and shoots rapidly and pierces and everything. It doesn't fucking matter! Because fucking chasing paratroopers, you know? You know? Just a really fucking fair and balanced enemy! Damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Are you, excuse me, excuse me! <laughs> I was standing on it! Anyway, oh, this file is not 100%. Huh. I said it was 100%, but I guess it's not. It's 
96%. Has <laughs> all the stars, though. Please. Please. <laughs> Please leave me alone. My heart cannot take any more of this bullshit. This tomfuckery. Okay, hammer bros are fun. Give me, give me more of those, please. Oh yeah, that's uh, that that was just like a massive fucking wall of enemies. I think you definitely need the bill again to beat this level. That or the hammer suit, which, well, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> um. I mean, I don't know, maybe two hammer suits would be better than the Billy Gun. I'll try this. If I don't beat it in the next, like, four or five attempts. Uh, I'll use the shoe. Maybe it's a combination of the Billy Gun and the hammer suit that we want. Well, I just threw the Billy Gun away, so... Oops. I guess... Oops. This uh, is actually working... <laughs> well... Of course, like, every time I say something, like, <laughs> everything goes wrong. That's why I should just never speak. You know, it's not like this is a, a Let's Play or anything where I gotta say things to be, like, be entertaining or, or anything, you know? Aha, my hammers are better than yours. Because they have more range, I guess. <laughs> no, fuck off. Yikes, dude. I guess I could go under those guys, but... No. Oh, no! It's all hell! Okay, get to the, get to the spawn pipe. Block it. Don't you dare spawn on top of me. I hate this fucking thing! Oh my god. Oh my god. Eat pussy! Fucking shoes, dude! It's over. <laughs> I have done it. I did not become the gross man. <laughs> and there it is. The King of Koopas. Uh, let's go get some power-ups. <laughs> I don't think the, uh... The gross one w will be that helpful in the castle, so... Don't have to worry about that. Now, I actually, I kind of want to try something. <laughs> I never use this item. But I want to do something cool. I want to try... <laughs> to use this on, like, the final boss, somehow. I don't know how... I'm even going to hurt the boss while time is frozen. Because, like, your hammer suit... The the hammers are frozen. Shells and everything are frozen. I don't... I, just, I, I, I want it to be a good and useful item. It's just not. Ah. Okay, so this, uh, this castle, loosely based off of the final castle from Mario 3. And there should be a hidden one up here, no? 
Yes, I did say loosely. Just gonna, just gonna play it safe. This, this floor is gonna fall. Okay. And we get over here, uh, and we need a key. <laughs> Oh, that's lava! <laughs> nope. <laughs> here it is. This 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 castle. This is the this is the last level that we're playing. And then SMEX is fucked. <laughs> He's gone forever. I, um, I know a lot of you are sad to see it go, and you know, a part of me is also, like, kind of sad, because, you know, sometimes it, it, it is just, like, nice times to just have what the fuck <laughs> just like a, a game that I don't have to like think about too much to play I don't really have to think much while playing it. okay what the fuck I need another key oh I know where the other key is I remember now and so I can just talk about whatever the fuck I want so it is kind of like uh, losing an old friend, but overall, I'm glad to see it go because it means change, and change is good. It means I am not, uh, shackled. I hopefully, you know, won't have people nagging me anymore. About, you know, oh, will you play this... SMEX thing, will you play that SMEX thing? Because the answer is always going to be no. Okay, so we need to bring this key all the way to the end of this room! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think if I just don't do that slide again- Oh! Oh! I see how it is. Oh! Fuck -a you, you scum bitch. Yeah, that's why you, you jump over these. It's just that I don't want to jump in front of their fucking fiery face. You never know when they're gonna shoot. Shoot their goot. Okay. So going through that door fucking just completely eats our Yoshi. <laughs> like, he has been completely devoured. Yeah, dude, fucking doors, man. <laughs> Absolute savages. <laughs> How, like, that ninja. <laughs> fucking Matrix, my fucking hammers, <laughs> dude. Ah! What the fuck? Why did the hammer go down like that? Wait, wait a minute. Is it like based off of your own moment? It is! <laughs> if you're traveling downward, the hammer will travel downward. On a slope, at least. That is strange. Still, that, isn't that so great, though? That even... <laughs> To this day, I'm still discovering new things. 
new little intricacies about the mechanics of this game that I didn't know about before. That is, that was one great thing about this game. No matter how much I play it, it's always something new to learn. I hate this situation right now. It's bad. I don't like it. Okay, well, I'm fine. There we go, finally. Get through this door. Checkpoint! Is it Bowser time? Is it Tonga time? <laughs> it's Bowser time. Stop time. <laughs> I don't know, like, how many hits that is going to count for, but hopefully it's a lot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I guess it didn't really matter. <laughs> Is that it? That, that's it! There's no, there's no like, oh, psych! <laughs> that wasn't the real Bowser! Dude! <laughs> F finally, we found an episode <laughs> that doesn't have an absurdly difficult final boss. Holy shit. <laughs> It was it, the level itself was harder than the boss, and even that was not that bad. So yeah, what are my thoughts on the invasion two as a whole? I like it. I I think it doesn't overstay its welcome. It has some unique ideas. It's not, like, absurdly difficult. It's good for beginners, and that's great because it's the game, it's the episode that comes packaged with the game when you download it, usually. At least for 1.3. Um, 0.1. I like uh, the diverging paths on the world map. There's always different ways to go, and uh, I like all the, the many secret exits, and the different unique things you gotta do for each one of those. And again, they, they don't like repeat things too often. The shit stays fresh. But yeah, I th that should be 100% unless, yeah, okay, no. So I was actually right in the first place. The first slot here has this 100%ed file. The, the last 4% technically is just that last level, but it doesn't, like, save it for some reason. Hey, hi, Lefty here. You know, from the future? Yeah, I'm a time traveler, don't worry about it. So someone in the comments told me about a secret exit that I missed. It was in the Desert Maze level. There was no, like, indication of it or anything, but basically, once you get out of the maze, there's these brick blocks above some quicksand, you hit the bricks, there's a vine, you go up the vine, it takes you to some clouds with a key and keyhole, secret exit, and this just unlocks a shortcut to let you skip some levels, uh, but that is the 4% that we are missing here. So thank you to Ray Z. Uh, thank you to Ray for send for telling me that. Uh, yeah, back to the video. And again, this this slot one is slot one and two are not my files. I did not make those. I don't know where where those came from. They just came with the download that I got from somewhere. I don't know. But um, that's it. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching this video, for watching my other videos, all the SMX videos, I'd like to thank just everyone, any any person at all that has ever watched 
just a single minute of any of my SMEX videos. You know, even when I, I really didn't want to play the game, I did it anyway. For you guys. I did it for you guys. Because I care. But at a certain point, you can't just do what the fans want. You, you also have to care about yourself and your own mental health. And I really do think that quitting SMBX is the best thing for me. I'll be able to bring more variety to this channel, and I, I really do think it'll, it'll feel like a breath of fresh air, both for me and for you guys. This, like, ten-year journey of SMBX, which admittedly was very on and off, there, I mean, there were ups and downs, you know? There, there were definitely times where I was genuinely having fun playing the game. But there were also times where I just, I really was just so sick of playing this game. I'm just, it's like I really just want to get it over with and, I don't know, play something else. If any of you guys want to take some of my ideas from uh, part three of this series... Uh, for your own SMEX episode, please do. Please j make something cool, you know? If you if you still care about this game, and you like making levels, don't hesitate to just completely steal my ideas, because I don't care. And you don't even have to give me credit for, the, for these ideas. Like, again, I don't care. And if you want more information about my ideas, uh, just message me on Discord. I'll leave my Discord tag in the description. But please, j only, please only message me if you need help with something. Like, I'm not just gonna accept friend requests from just, like, anyone. You know what I mean? But I would love to see my ideas come to life. Especially the one about turning Super Marvis X into a roguelike. But, yeah, I guess... That's gonna be it. Rest in peace, Super Mario Bros. X. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and laughing at my dumb jokes. They're probably in bad taste, but, <laughs> but to be honest, I don't even know what the fuck that means. I just hear people say it and I'm like, I, I, I think I get it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.